there's another video where I derive the polar form of an ellipse from the rectangular form. And just for the fun of it, let's see if we can go reverse. And personally, I find this a little bit more intuitive than the other one, but you be the judge of what works for you. So first definition of an ellipse, we have two points here, which are the foci, and the sum from one focus to a point on the ellipse to the other focus is a constant distance. So I've just labeled it as D1 and D2. And in polar form, we pick one of the focal points as the reference, and R is the distance from that focal point, and theta is the angle created between that line segment right there and the, the major axis. A is the length of the semi-major axis, in other words, from the origin to the farthest point, and then the other one is called the minor axis, and the length of the semi-minor axis is the length of B. If we look at that definition that the distance from focal point one to the point on the ellipse to the other is a constant, then let's just take two extremes and set them equal to each other. So if this, if x and y is here, so x is a and y is zero, then distance one, that distance right there, is just the length a plus the length f. So a plus f. And the other distance from the second focal point to there, d2, is the length a minus the length f. So that's what you're left with right there. So d1 plus d2 is equal to 2a, and that is a, that is the value of the constant. If we take the other point right there, I know that the distance from the focal point to 0b to the other focal point has to be equal to 2a. Little Pythagorean theorem here, I see d1 squared is f squared plus b squared, so f squared plus b squared equals d1 squared. That's also equal to d2 squared because of symmetry. So d1 plus d2, which is equal to 2a, is also equal to 2 times the length of d1 and d2, which is the same thing, square root of f squared plus b squared. Divide by 2, and we have a is equal to the square root of f squared plus b squared, or a squared equals f squared plus b squared, or as we will also use, f squared equals a squared minus b squared. A couple other best basic definitions before we get into the derivation. y, this value of y is r times the sine of theta. r cosine theta is this distance right here, which is just x minus f. So this is distance x minus f. And then with the Pythagorean theorem, r squared is equal to x minus f squared plus y squared. And also ellipses have this thing called eccentricity, which I'll be using in just a moment, which is just the ratio of f over a. So if the focal length is zero, in other words, the two f's come and join right there in the middle, then we have a circle. The equation for an ellipse in polar form is equal to r equals b squared over a times one plus the eccentricity times cosine of theta. Uh, just, if you just distribute the a, you get b squared over a plus ae cosine theta. And since the eccentricity is just the focal length divided by the length of the semi-major axis, we can make that substitution. A's cancel out, and I'm left with b squared is a plus f cosine theta. And that's all equal to r. Now, to get it into rectangular form, we need to get rid of r, theta, and f. I guess potentially you could keep f in there, but traditionally not. And we need to get x and y in. So let's start making those substitutions. Now for the sake of writing, I'm gonna let c equal cosine of theta. In the other video, I did the same thing. The more I write, the more likely I am to make a mistake. And so I just want to abbreviate it somehow. Therefore, r is equal to b squared over a plus fc. So just making that substitution. Getting rid of the fraction, multiplying both sides by a plus fc, I, and distributing the r. And then, since r cosine theta is equal to x minus f, as shown previously, then ar plus f times x plus f equals b squared. Simplifying just a little bit, distributing the f, and then adding f squared to the other side, and we get b squared plus f squared equals a squared. I still have an r and an f in here. I don't have the angle anymore, so that's good, but we need to get rid of the r and the f, and so let's get rid of r first. a r is equal to a squared minus fx, just by subtracting that to the other side. So what I'm doing is isolating r. Now I have an equation for r squared, as written right here. r squared is equal to x minus f squared plus y squared, so I'm gonna get r squared. So once I have a r, I square both sides. a squared r squared is equal to this whole term squared, if you multiply it out, you get a to the fourth minus two a squared fx plus f squared x squared. Now I make the substitution for r here. That stays the same on the right-hand side. And I go ahead and multiply that out. f squared, as we already know, is a squared minus b squared. And so make that substitution and distribute the a squared. So a squared times x squared 
a squared times negative 2xf, a squared times a squared is a to the fourth, a squared times b squared is a squared b squared, don't forget the minus sign, and then a squared y squared is equal to this over here. And then I notice I have common terms. Those two will cancel out, and those two will cancel out. And so I am left with three terms on the left and one on the right. So this is what I'm left with right here. Now it's time to get rid of the f, because we've gotten rid of r at this point. And so f squared is just a squared minus b squared. And distributing, so I now have this. So that is equal to that. I have an a squared x squared. Those were going to cancel out. And I, it simplifies nicely down to negative a squared b squared plus a squared y squared equals negative b squared x squared. I'm going to flip the sides of these two, so add them each to both sides. And I get b squared x squared plus a squared y squared equals a squared b squared. And then to get into more traditional form, divide both sides by a squared b squared. b squareds cancel out for this one. a squared cancel out for the second term, and both cancel out there. And I'm left with the rectangular form of an ellipse. Thus is shown.